Well, good evening to you. What a welcome home celebration here at Bluegrass Airport. We were able to go on the honor flight today and many of the veterans that we traveled with today are Vietnam veterans who did not come home to a celebration like this. But today hundreds turned out to make sure that they knew that their service was appreciated. They lined the walk, making for an emotional moment for these veterans, among them a 95-year-old Korean War vet, three female veterans, and many who had distinguished service. The day starts off bright and early. Honor Flight makes sure these veterans visit all of the memorials and tributes in Washington, D.C., including a somber stop at Arlington National Cemetery to observe the changing of the guard at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Marilyn Hale of Georgetown, a proud Air Force veteran, she says she was able to take part in that wreath-laying ceremony, and she says today was truly an honor. Uh, it was chilling. As I was standing there looking at it, I was thinking of all the people who stood there before, and it was like, I can't believe I'm standing here. I couldn't believe they asked me to do it. But to be standing there where so much history has been made, it was just awesome. Well, this trip is a chance for these veterans to get together, to reminisce, but for many of them, it's also a chance to share their history with family members who serve as their guardian for the trip. And the day concludes with perhaps one of the Swedish gestures. It's called mail call. And so the veterans are handed packets with handwritten notes from their family and friends telling them how much they love them and how much their service has meant to them. At Bluegrass Airport, Amber Philpott, WKY. Y